What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. We have another new release from Hourglass that we're going to be talking about today. These are the new Voyeur eyeshadow sticks. I'm going to be demoing these for you guys, letting you know what I think about the formula. And of course, do I think these are worth the hefty luxury beauty price tag? Also in this video, I am going to be comparing these eyeshadow sticks up against these that I recently reviewed for you. These are the Victoria Beckham Eyewear eyeshadow sticks. So we're going to do a little bit of a comparison so I can let you guys know which ones I like better if I think any of them are good and are worth it. So if you guys are interested in hearing all of my thoughts, then keep watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out. And if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. My name is Sophia. This is my channel that focuses on all things beauty and luxury. Every Every single week I upload new content on luxury beauty fashion and lifestyle I do a lot of reviews on newly released makeup especially in the clean beauty luxury and Sephora brand category so if that is up your alley definitely consider joining our fan by hitting that subscribe button and without further ado let's get into this review all right party people let's get these eyeshadow sticks on my eyes real quick these retail for $34 and on the hourglass website they are described as an effortless crease resistant eyeshadow stick that delivers high impact color with a sleeve metallic finish for all day wear. It also says eight hour crease resistant wear with a comfortable feel. It glides smoothly onto lids. We are getting 1.6 grams of product, which is pretty standard. These are made in the USA. They are vegan and cruelty free, and they also have a 12 month shelf life. I picked up two of the colors. I will show you some daylight swatches here. The first color is called Galaxy. I was very drawn to this one. I felt like it was a little bit more unique than the others. This is described as a metallic plum. Love a good purple. I feel like they always look really good on brown eyes. And then the other color that I picked up is called solstice and this is described as a metallic bronze can't go wrong with a bronze if the bronze doesn't look good i don't know what's gonna look good and i do think it pairs very well with the plum so i'm gonna be creating a look with each of these shades and then afterwards i will share my thoughts with you guys on the formula on the website it says that you can just go in straight from the stick to the eyelid so that's what i'm gonna be doing today i'm gonna start off with the plum shade which is called galaxy and just so you guys can see these do have kind of like a flattened angle tip so it's a little bit you know it can be easier than maybe some other eyeshadow sticks to apply it to the eye so I'm just gonna draw this on like this as a base, I just have my regular concealer. I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer. I'm gonna be linking all of these products and anything else that is on my face in the description box down below for you guys. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna blend things out with this Sonia G Fusion Brush. These are great for any kind of cream or liquid products. I'm gonna link the one that I'm using down below in case you guys wanna pick this up. Any kind of other liquid or cream shadows you have, this is gonna be great. So I'm just blending that out and they blend very, very easily. I'll talk a little bit more about the longevity in a minute once we're done the demo. It's a pretty light shade. It's, you're not gonna get like a ton of impact from these shadow sticks. Let me show you what this looks like once again when it's swatched on my hand. It's really not the deepest color. And when I look on the website, this seems like it would be one of the deeper shades. So I just want to call that out. I'm going to put a little bit more on so that you guys can see how, if we tried to build it up, how it would look. And I'm going to use my finger to blend it out. Because a lot of times when you use your finger, it helps the color stay a little bit more intense. It's a really, really pretty shade. I love the tone, but it is very soft. If you have a deeper skin tone, because these are pretty metallic, they are gonna kind of pop a little bit more on your skin tone. I am quite pale, and so it's not a bad thing that this is not a super deep shade, but I just want you guys to keep in mind the impact it's gonna have on the lids. Now I'm gonna go in with Solstice. This is that bronze shade. And I'm gonna put that on inner half of the eye. I'm also gonna be popping this here on the inner corner and down on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna be blending this out with the same brush that I had before, just kind of melting it into the skin. I don't know if you guys can see that. You see these little like bumps right there? I do notice that when these go onto the eyes, they can be a little bit chunky. And so I think you need to pay extra close attention to smooth out any of those little bumps in the beginning. 
because these are long wearing. They are going to set down. So if you don't work quickly to kind of blend everything together and really melt it into the skin, those bumps are going to stay there on your eyelid if they haven't been smoothed out because these set and then from then on you really cannot move the pigment. I will show you a demonstration of that in just a second. You can actually turn the shape of this this way to kind of add a little bit along the lash line in a more precise way. I'm just going back in with that galaxy shade because I just want a little bit more depth there on the lower lash line. Okay friends, so this is what the eyeshadows are looking like before I put on mascara. You get a very blended look with a really nice sheen, but notice how these are not super glittery or super pigmented. They're pretty soft, so I want that to come across. So now I'm gonna go put on some mascara so that you guys can see the final look. And then I'm gonna comment on the formula and how these compare with the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty. All right, friends, I am back. This is the look using Galaxy and Solstice. I'm just gonna get real close so that you guys can see the texture of these. I think these colors are very beautiful, very soft, but I just wanna get up super close so you can kind of see what the finish looks like. Now, what are my thoughts about these eyeshadow sticks and also how do I think they compare to the ones from Victoria Beckham Beauty? First off, in terms of the application, I do think that these are super creamy. You guys saw it took me basically no time to create this look. You can layer the colors on top of each other. I think that they're super easy and pretty much foolproof to apply. In terms of the color selection, there are seven colors, but the colors are not super duper groundbreaking. I think that they're very wearable, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I do think you need to take that into consideration, considering that, you know, we have a lot of bronzes and browns and even like olive greens in our collections already. Probably, especially if you guys already have eyeshadow sticks for maybe Laura Mercier, they've got the caviar sticks as a part of their product lineup. So the colors are not anything super groundbreaking. They're not super multi-dimensional. If they had like a duochrome shift or maybe some sort of interesting multi-dimension, then I would tell you guys, but they really don't. The finish is definitely pretty soft. It has a nice shimmer, but it's not glittery or chunky. I think the best feature of these eyeshadow sticks, to be quite frank, is the longevity. They are so incredibly long wearing. I'll show you guys here on my hand. We swatched this earlier and then this was another swatch that I was just playing around with. I want to show you guys when you first swatch these eyeshadow sticks, they are super duper creamy. See how blendable they are? You can really sheer it out. But this is the swatch that I swatched just like a couple minutes ago. You will not be able to move that formula. Incredibly long wearing. I tested this on my eyes. I did like sweaty Peloton workouts in this. I showered. Like these are waterproof. Even if I wash my hands, it doesn't come off. They come off very easily with makeup remover, makeup wipes, you know, a cleansing oil, something like that, where you are very intentionally washing it off with something oil-based. I don't think you need to worry about that. This is not like a waterproof mascara where sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to get off. Definitely not at all. Doesn't irritate my eyes, but they are incredibly, incredibly long wearing. I think that the things you need to take into account when considering these is number one, the intensity. These are not super intense. You can see on my eyes right here, I really can't build up any depth even with using this shade Galaxy, which just looking at the shades seems like the darkest one. There are no matte shades in this lineup. These are really great for a very natural one and done type of look, which I know a lot of you guys really like. I'm actually not mad about this look at all. I really, really like it. I think that it is beautiful, but I just want to call that out. These don't have a ton of impact. And what I'm hearing from other reviews is that compared to like the Laura Mercier caviar sticks, for example, these are definitely more of a sheer effect. The other thing that I think you need to consider is just the sheen and the texture that these give on the lids. And this is where I'm gonna bring in the new Victoria Beckham Beauty eyeshadow sticks. These are called the Long Wear Crease Proof Eyewear Sticks. I already did a full review of these. I have every single shade. I demoed every single shade. So if you guys are curious about what I think of these and just a more in-depth, you know, 
swatch party demo. I will link that video down below so that you can definitely check it out and figure out what shades might be right for you. But when I was comparing these, the thing that I noticed the most is that the Victoria Beckham formula looks smoother on the eye. I did side-by-side -side applications. I saw how they wore. The longevity, exactly the same. The blendability, exactly the same. I think the two main differences here are number one, the Victoria Beckham Beauty ones, aside from the fact that they come in shimmer and matte formulas, the color has a little bit more impact. They're a little bit more intense on the eyes. So if pigmentation is something that you're looking for, I think you wanna go with the Victoria Beckham Beauty. But more importantly, the ones from Victoria Beckham look smoother on the eye. And I thought maybe it was just me, but I went and asked my boyfriend which eyelid looks better. And he said, hands down, that one. And it was the one with the Victoria Beckham Beauty. He said that the one from Hourglass looked a bit chunky. And I kind of have to agree. It's not bad, but when you compare it up against other formulas, it doesn't look as smooth. It does highlight texture more. And I don't even have that much texture on my eyelids. I do have dry skin. I'm 32 for the record. So I don't, I shouldn't have that much texture on my eyelids. But like I was pointing out in the demo here, you can see that little chunk right there. When these come out of the bullet, they do have like little micro chunks, if that makes sense. Micro chunks. I think I made that word up, but they do have little micro chunks. And even with me really already knowing that and trying to blend them out, I still feel like I wasn't totally successful. So I think from this distance, it looks super beautiful. I'm not super like mad that I got these. I still think that they look really pretty, but for $34, I just don't know if that's worth it because it's a single shadow, one shadow for $34. I think that they're a little bit overpriced. Now, these are vegan and cruelty-free, so if you were looking for a vegan and cruelty-free option, this is probably the one to go with. The Victoria Beckham, they are considered clean beauty, but just looking at the ingredients, they do use carmine in some of the shades. So, you know, maybe that's going to be a big factor for you guys, but I think in general, these sticks from Hourglass while the shades are pretty and while they are blendable and while they have great longevity, there are just other options for basically the same price or maybe a little bit less that just look a little bit better that I would recommend to you guys first because I know a lot of you guys are concerned with highlighting any type of texture on the eyes. So those are all of my thoughts, friends. I know I only have two of the shades to demo for you today, but hopefully this review was helpful. I really tried to put both of these formulas to the test and let you guys know what the differences were and just kind of get to the point on which one I prefer. Now it is your turn. Sound off in those comments down below and let me know if this review was helpful. Have you tested each of these out for yourself? I would love to hear your thoughts because your opinion is worth just as much as mine. What shades did you try? How did you get along with these? I would love to know. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.